so the fuel's run out. This is an old Howard Rotivator. A gem. Don't know what series, one of the later ones, I think five, four, four or five probably. It's got quite an old Kohler engine, but it's got the four speed, well, three speed and reverse gearbox. I didn't show you it in gear there, because when you pull on the clutch, the clutch isn't disengaging the motor from the gearbox properly. So it needs some adjustment. Probably not much in my experience with these things, just a little bit maybe. We'll pull it up. It's got a few other things wrong with it. It's obviously missing its fuel cap, it's got one of those flexi caps in. It's missing its uh, HT cover, spark plug cap, choke lever is bent, but that didn't stop it starting. This is the first time I've started it. We've got a model number on it there, K301. It's the same kind of one, but it's got this big um, string pull starter on it. No recoil starter on this one. It looks to have cast fins on that. Well, a lot of them will have that, of course. There's no, but there's no guard on it. It's got a fuel pump. What I don't like is it's missing its points cover, which is. Well, it's death, really, for these things. It needs a cover, so I'm going to have to fashion up something or get an original or something for that, because that's not good at all. Having points out in the air is no good. It's got really good tyres. Really, really good. It really needs a wash, but I don't even see any cracking in them. They're a bit soft. But they're, you know, it's a, it's a meat on that. That's never, been, that's never been worn in on the road. Like, there's no... It's still got its ridges on there. The tiller end is a bit of a nightmare. That weld's failed. That weld's failed. It's a bit of a, a bit of a behemoth, really, as gems tend to be. It's a bolt missing there. The up and down works. It does seem to go into gears, but it, well, it's, it, it'll go into them if you don't have it powered on. It looks like there's a well, that's just a shield, but there may be a bearing in there missing. That's not the way it's meant to be. No little bolt there. I'm not really sure what it's trying to hold on. It's missing its step back starter handle, but of course that really doesn't matter on this one, given that it's got the the pull starter on the front. Paint's pretty good on it for, you know, something that's been through the wars probably. Could easily be 50, 50 years old. It's got its toolbox, nothing in it. It's missing a plate there. Can't remember what it should say. It's got its serial number. Throttle's a bit mashed up, but no hassle. It's missing a pin there, clevis pin from there, or a, a, a pin with a clevis pin, and it's just, I tried to give it a clean there where it's going, but it's so filthy, it's going to need a good old clean, and I think a good clean will do it, and then maybe look at getting a scrap one. I wonder is it a bit wider actually, it looks more like a two foot, because I've had other ones before that were a bit daintier, a bit narrower in the back and whatnot, so it might be a longer, longer model. Yeah, there you go. Another, yet another Howard gem to add to the collection. Not that I've got any other ones at the moment, but my past collection and it will go on the playlist as well, I guess. So yeah, another piece of stuff from Boots Owen. Thanks for watching. See you later.